Jessie Draper, the Valley Girl. Valley Girl. Let's talk business. I'm like the Valley Girl. Christina Milian is a Grammy-nominated pop star and American actress. Her songs AM to PM and Dip It Low both reached the top 40. Christina's been in multiple films, including Love Don't Cost a Thing, Be Cool, Pulse, and Bring It On, Fight to the Finish. She's also a lover of technology and a lot of fun. Well, here we are with Christina Milian. So how are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm Good. doing great. You look fabulous. No, you look fabulous. <laughs> Thank you. You look that. fabulous. We're you are so lovely. beautiful, as I was saying. I was just, I can't even believe it. It's You're stunning. <laughs> Thank you so much, you too. <laughs> and I love that you call yourself Valley Girl. This is, um, I'm a Valley Girl. I'm a LA Valley Girl. Are so I'm you? Fernando Valley Girl. Well, so. this is the meeting of the minds it's right here. Where we've been put together for a reason, right? <laughs> yes, <laughs> definitely. So how are you doing? What's going on right now? I'm doing great. I mean, I feel like I'm in a great, great place in my life. Um, I mean, great things personally. I'm a mother. I have, I know. My daughter just had her birthday. She's three years old. Oh my gosh! I see. I, I saw your Instagram pics of you and your daughter. <laughs> yes. She is just precious. She's become an instant Instagram like celebrity. It's so funny. <laughs> just based on my pictures that I put up of her. But we're so connected and we're so close. How do you juggle? You know acting, singing, and you are raising a beautiful little girl. Yeah. Well, you know, she's very, um, she's she adjusts to anything. You know, since she was born, I've, I've, I've been pretty much working since she's kind of been born, you know. So she's just adjusted to come coming to me, you know, to meetings with me. She comes to the set. Um, obviously, I've been doing The Voice for over two seasons yeah, now. Yeah, so you're the social media correspondent for yes, The Voice. Yes, yes, which is awesome, Very which I fun. Love. And you're doing a great job. Thank you. Thank you. It's kind of funny how I even just fell into that position as the social media correspondent because social media and just, like, the Internet, ever since, like, it kind of just came, you know, became so public and so popular, I was just so invested into it and, like, okay, wow, chat rooms. And then from chat rooms, it was, like, MySpace. And then MySpace turned into Facebook, all that stuff, you know. So I've always been been very invested into it because I found there was a great connection around the world that I was able to have on my own that people would really get to know me and you just can just get so much information as well. It's so true and you're on so many platforms mm -hmm. um, because I am learning that you are just super into technology and I, I had am, no idea. I'm such a nerd. I love it. <laughs> I am a techie freak. To be honest with you, uh, I mean, I wish I was smart enough to come up with a lot of the things. I probably have the great ideas for it. But when it comes to technology, I've always been the one that had to buy everything that you could possibly think of. Like when, you know, especially with laptops. I remember I saw laptops. I had a Mac and I had a Sony laptop. Like I buy everything because I have to try it. Right. Well, speaking to... of which, I'd love to... So you were I telling me, am. you're like, no, I have like 10 phones. And I was yeah. like, no, 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 you don't. And you're like, no, 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 seriously, I have like 10 phones. I have three phones and I have my mini iPad. And sometimes I have my regular iPad on me too, just in case <laughs> something runs out of battery. But I have my BlackBerry. I have my iPhone 5. I have my uh, Galaxy Note 2. And I have my... Of Any course, iPad. of course, because you need four phones at all times. You just never know. Yeah. Okay, you're on social media, you're on, you know, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I've seen you on all of those platforms. Yes. Where do you find that your fans are the most responsive? Oh, pictures. You know, fans love pictures. Um, I find even if you write a message on Facebook, they want to see a picture. Oh, totally. You know, you get more likes when they see a picture. So I find that Instagram has been the most, you know, the biggest connection that I've had has been through my pictures. I even go and read my comments, and I write back to everybody on my comments as well. Um, and then, of course, Twitter. Twitter, everybody has, like, you know, a question. And I remember when I first heard about Twitter, I was just like, oh, what is this? So I was kind of late in the game when I actually signed up for it, and I'm kind of mad that I did. But I'm, um, I'm happy I, I connected with it, and I got it eventually. And um, I just found it was a great way, you know, communication of just, like, question, answer. Yeah. Um, even just promotion, just promoting anything. It's been fantastic. So let's talk about music. Yes. You are an incredible singer. Thank and you. you are Gram you've been nominated, nominated for a Grammy twice, before, yeah. twice. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Thank you. So you're coming out with a new album. Yes, I am. Okay, so what's that going to be about? How is it going to be different? <sighs> and it's exciting. I mean, I'm, I'm surrounded with a new team. I'm now signed to Young Money, which is Lil Wayne, Baby, Drake's over there. High five. Yeah. Nice. Like that. Yeah. yeah. Big time. <laughs> um, but I'm excited to be over there. It's amongst a, a great group of artists, and Wayne is very hands-on when it comes to just his connection with his artists and really caring for what we want to do. You know, he gives us the freedom to be creative. And I've been in the studio day and night, and hopefully a single soon, but I do have a song that I did record and shot a video for recently. The song is called Hello, 
and it's with um, these DJs called the Stafford Brothers. They're signed to um, Cash Money as well, oh, and great. it's with Little Wayne and myself. And the video is actually it should be out like actually right now. And it's just got great energy. It feels good. It's got a great great story. Can and, you um, sing a little of it? Oh my gosh! Really? <laughs> <laughs> I'll sing with you, and then I'll sound terrible. I never should have let my eyes turn back. I was happy on my own. I never should have said 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 hello. So it's called hello. That is that Hopefully is that talent right here. I think we need to get her. Can we put some other tune on that? That was fantastic. You have Thank such you. a beautiful voice. What is it like being a woman in the you know music industry right now? Um, being a woman in the music industry right now it's very inspiring it's great people like you know JLo or you have people like Nicki Minaj who are such strong business women and you look up to people like that and and that that's the new generation of young women now you know so it's it's a it's a powerful feeling and it feels really good and um, I don't know I think right now I'm we're able to find ourselves in so many ways. You are working with this fantastic company yeah. called The Hunt so yeah. tell me about The Hunt. I'm so excited all right I love The Hunt um, I'm a shopper, an online <laughs> shopper, not only for techie stuff, but just anything and any item. Who I isn't? I had no idea. Well, I wasn't into it like a year ago. <laughs> I had no idea I was going to fall into it. And I was actually just kind of searching like the uh, Tumblr. I was on Tumblr. That's what it was. And I found myself clicking and finding really awesome pictures of like a Kanye West or some model wearing this awesome outfit. I didn't know where to find it, and I really wanted that outfit or a way to kind of find something similar to it. So that's where the kind of the hunt kind of comes involved. Um, it's basically like you post a picture and you say, "Hey, look, I have these boots, or look at these boots. I'm trying to find these boots. Can you find these boots for me, or can you find them something similar? Tell me who the designer is, or can you actually style this outfit for me around these boots?" So you'll post a picture, and you have all these great girls who just you know, are on the internet all day like I am. And they will go and find exactly who the designer is and they'll post it for you. They'll post the picture, post the link. All you have to do is click the link and all, all of a sudden you're directed exactly to that pair of boots. You're directed to a boots, you know, boots that are similar to it or an outfit that you can actually style to that, that pair of boots or something like that. Fantastic. And, um, or something cheaper, you know, because sometimes we don't have the budget to say, oh, I want these Balmain leather pants, but right. at the same time, they're $2,000. I don't have the budget for that. How can I find something similar that looks like it, but it's cheaper? And it's so convenient for you because now you're not sitting on the internet like searching like black leather pants, black leather pants, going crazy trying to find that pair of pants when somebody might have come across it and they're like, hey, look, guess what? I found it for you. So really quick, tell me about some of your favorite apps. You were telling me about <laughs> them before, but you do, you definitely are in the shopping space. Yes. You like the fashion apps. I, I, yes, the fashion apps. I like Fab. I like um, the foundation and Gilt. And I, I like. think I've ever been on the foundation. Oh, you have to try it. Yeah, i got to try that yes. one. Yes, it's just like actually Gilt, and um, except, you know, they have different items. So addictive. Items. And it's, it's addictive, and the fact that you have to buy it, you know, at a pressured amount of time, but that everything is on sale. That's really cool. So I like those sites as, as far as shopping goes. Well, Christina, you are fantastic. You Thank really, you. really are. I mean, really inspiring. You work so hard in so many different fields. I can't, I can't even believe it. Yeah, it keeps going. It does. It yeah. does. It's amazing. So congratulations on all your success. Thank I can't you. wait to see the new music video. And I would love for you to leave us with one piece of advice mm -hmm. for someone who hopes to break into the music industry like you did. Ooh. Well, my best advice would be. Um, you know, when you have somebody that you admire, you kind of just got to pay attention to their history. How did they make it there? For me in the music industry, I looked up to people like Janet Jackson, to Madonna, like I said, Madonna. And I watched just how their, the history of their career went about and just how hard they, 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 that they worked to stay there and to be there. And through the ups and downs, you always got to believe. And, and if you believe in yourself, stick in there. You know, and, uh, and and I believe it can happen. You know, it's good to find your true self through your music and try new things. That's a great piece of advice. Listen to Christina right here. Hey. <laughs> so, well, thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm like the Valley Girl. And I'm like Christina Millian. Like, totally. Like, totally. Yeah. Like, that was like, you're a real Valley Girl. Like, <laughs> I can tell. I had that one down. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's time for your dits moment. Okay, ready? Yeah. Are you ready now? I'm ready. 
I don't know. I'm totally ready. You're still, are you still totally ready? I'm like totally ready. Are you like Valley Girl ready? Yeah, like totally Valley Girl ready. <laughs> yeah.